everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Mother's Day. If you're a mama, I hope you're having a great day. If you're a pet mom, I hope your furry babies are being nice to you. If you're not a mama, then I hope you're just having a great day. Uh, I'm going to be doing a book haul today. Uh, I got some books that I bought myself for Mother's Day. Um, my husband and my kids got me other things like, uh, flowers and... <laughs> uh new appliances for my kitchen and so yes but i bought myself some books and um most of these you have already seen in other videos like a dollar tree haul and stuff like that but i'm just combining it all into one video today because there's more that i have not shown and so i want to start with the stack that i got myself and the first book is Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwame Mbalia. This is a Rick Riordan Presents book. And it's, I don't know what mythology it is. Rick Riordan Presents books are mythology based. But I don't know what this one is. And it, the award sticker is coming off. And if you can see behind me, my shelf is bare. Because that's where I'm holding all my books that I have to haul. And yeah, I can't wait to get into this. And it's thicker than I thought it was going to be and the cover it's very pretty with pinks and blues and purples gorgeous the next one I got myself I've been reading um, A Song of Ice and Fire I've read all five books I am now one of the people waiting for the sixth book to come out and I picked up Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin. This is the prequel to the Song of Ice and Fire series. This is about a Targaryen house. And yeah, and it's got pictures in it. And I can't wait. And so and I'm excited for the new show hitting HBO about the Targaryen. So yes. Uh, I love their flag. Their banner. In my most favorite books of all time I mentioned the series that I didn't own but I did say that I bought that series the day I filmed and so I finally got my hands on hardback of the Millennium Trilogy by Stieg Larsson so the girl with the dragon tattoo the girl who played with fire and the girl who kicked the hornet's nest I know that um, this series has been expanded but I consider it an original trilogy because Stieg Larsson, he died after the third was published. And the fourth book was written by David Levinkrantz. And I did not like the writing style. The characters were completely different. And yeah, so the first three books are my favorite. Um, and I... <laughs> I don't want to read the newest book that came out in this series, but uh, I keep thinking about it every day and like, should I give it a try? And if I don't like it, then the original trilogy is just it for me. This stack is what I got from publishers for blog tour spots. I am, I host sometimes with Rockstar Book Tours on my blog, which is linked down below. And this is the stack of books. Well. Not one of them, but uh, this is the stack that I've gotten from publishers. So, the first one is a, an anticipated, and I cannot wait to read it. As far as I haven't already read it yet, I've read two pages out of it. But <laughs> And that is Ten Truths and a Dare by Ashley Elston. This is a sequel companion to Ten Blind Dates. I read that in two days. Absolutely loved it. It was a favorite of 2019. And, yeah, this is about her cut cousin Olivia so I can't wait and I absolutely love the family in this so I, I want to pick it up now I want to just stop this video and just read but I can't but yeah okay so the next one I got um is from Disney and that is Willow of Dark Hollow this is um the sequel to Willow Willow in the Wood and I have not read that one yet, but uh, I love this green. And I don't know what the series is about, but I got it for a blog tour spot. And I'm going to be doing this on the 19th of May. 
So if you are wanting to know my thoughts, then come back then. Then another book, Rick Riordan Presents, that is on my anticipated for May. And that is The Last Fallen Star by Gracie Kim. This is Chinese mythology. And I love the dragon and the spirit. Ugh! Yes. And it's got a freaking family tree thing on the end pages for the gods. And I'm just... And it's got a sun and a moon. Yes. And I cannot wait. And it's tiny. So, I don't know if this is going to be a standalone or a series, but... Yes. Oh, it's going to be a series. A Gifted Clans novel. So, uh, I'm so happy I got this. Thank you, Rockstar Book Tours, and thank you, Disney. The other two books I got from Disney were uh, High School Musical, the musical, the series, that new, um, the TV show on Disney+. Plus. have not watched that, but I have watched all three High School Musical movies. And this is... The high, high School Musical, The Musical, The Series, The Road Trip, which is a freaking mouthful, by Melissa De La Cruz. And she has a new imprint coming out for Disney, and I cannot wait because Ms. Melissa De La Cruz, she just does such good retellings and uh, original stories for Disney. And, yeah, so, like I said, I have not watched the show, but I will before I read this. And my spotlight tour for this or my spotlight toast the my spotlight post for this book came out today on my blog and it has not gotten a review yet but because I haven't read it but I'm going to watch the show and then read this and I love the van on the cover and the luggage rack yes and then Another one from Disney is Stuffed Into Darkness by Liz Braswell. This is the sequel to Stuffed, which I showed the audiobook for the first book in my May TBR. I have not listened to it yet, but once I finish the audiobook, I'm going to read this and my blog post will be completed. Um, but I know it's about a, an 11 year old boy who still has stuffed animals and his stuffed animals come to life every night to defeat the shadows and to keep them safe and so and I know the boy goes to camp in this one so the last book that was sent to me from a publisher was The Woman with the Blue Star by Pam Janoff this was sent to me by Park Row Books I won this on a Goodreads giveaway and of course I'm going to like read it it's set in World War II in the Krakow ghetto Yes. <clears throat> okay, so I bought some books from Alcrate. I have stopped both of my Alcrate subscriptions and I'm really sad about it because this year's their selections are like great. But I mostly stopped it because the stuff in the boxes that came along with the books wasn't that great. But I bought four. And so the first one is All the Tides of Fate by Adeline Grace is the sequel to All the Stars and Teeth. I have not read that one yet, but it's going to be on it's on my buzzword reading challenge for the year. And then I had to have this one because it's the uh exclusive it matches the one that came in the box last year. And yeah, so I think there's a third one coming out. I'm not sure. But I picked up Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynn Jones. Um, I am planning to rewatch all of these Studio Ghibli movies this summer with my kids, and I wanted to read *Howl's Moving Castle* because I've never read the book, and so, and I like this cover. Um, but yeah, I wanted to read this with my kids, and then we're gonna watch the movie. I watched the movie, I think, when I was <laughs> uh, in the stages of newborn kid, and I didn't really pay attention to it, so can't wait. And then one of my anticipated is The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna and this cover. It's just so pretty. And I like the owl crate because it has the design in the back and it has a little bit of yellow and then I think it has, oh yeah, 
that it's green foil. Green is my favorite color, so I can't wait. She's just so pretty. Oh my god. And then I got an Owl Crate Junior book, which is The In Between by Rebecca K.S. Ansari. And I got this one just because of the cover. It's beautiful. It's got uh, a, an apartment building or a skyscraper on fire. And then it's got uh, a house with the tree swing. And I saw the original cover and it was like blue and I didn't really like that. But I like this one. So I got it. Yeah. I'm going to be reading this with my kids. Don't know what it's about. It's beautiful. Now for the books that I bought at the end of March and the beginning of April. Uh, this stack right here from Dollar Tree. This one I bought off of Amazon. And this is the seven books of the Chronicles of Narnia. And I have been reading this series to my kids. We just finished Voyage of the Dawn Treader. And I'm reading them in publication order. Not chronological order. So the next one we got to read is The Silver Chair. And... My kids are having a fun time listening to this, and uh, they enjoyed watching the movie and comparing and contrasting what was different and what was the same. And, yeah. Fun classics. And now, all of these books you've already seen in a Dollar Tree haul if you watched it, but I'm going to go into it again. And if you want to know what these books are about, then you can go to that video, and I'll link it down below. And you can listen to me talk about those books, but... First one is a book for my oldest daughter. She's 12, she's preteen, and it is called Girlish. Um, and it's by Elena Wolf. And it's it's got like activities and journal pages and fun quotes and stuff. So, yeah. I got this for her. I might give it to her when she's a little bit older because right now she's not really into writing in books and following along she just like jumps all over the place and she doesn't really care about this kind of stuff yet but when she becomes like 15 16 then I'll give it to her one is Greg Isles Mississippi Blood uh, every time I go on Goodreads I see this name pop up in his books and it's just intrigued me so I saw this and I grabbed it I don't know what sticker this is from but I bought this from a dot I bought this for a dollar from Dollar Tree like these books right here and yeah if you don't shop at your Dollar Tree for books go they always have like not new new but new ish releases like the earliest um the latest release that I've bought was published in 2019 and I bought it last year before pandemic so yeah I have to do more research because I don't know what series this is, if this is a standalone. I don't know anything about these, but I just grabbed it because I've recognized it, which is probably a bad thing to how to buy books, but hey, whatever. Okay, another one is Don't Let Go by Harlan Coben. I've been seeing uh, his books be hyped up everywhere, and I got this one. I got this cover confused with the newest book that came out this year called When because it's the same color and I thought this was a new release. But I think this one came out in 2018 or 2017. I'm not really sure. But yeah, grabbed it. And like I said with Greg Isles, I don't know anything if this is a series or a standalone or what. Um, One that I was excited to see because I've been wanting this. I tried so hard to get an arc of this when it first was when it was first released, but I never got one. But it is "Bring Me Back" by B. A. Paris. I bought this for a dollar, so and it's thin, and I did not know that. <laughs> but anyways, it's about um, she went missing, he moved on, a whole world of secrets remain until now. And yeah, I just love to cover. The next one I bought from Dollar Tree is The Girl, The Dead Girl in 2A. And this is about a woman on a plane. And, yeah. So, this will be another one in the fall. Uh, 
I'm hoping that it doesn't scare me off of planes. Because I've never been on a plane and I really want to go on a plane ride. But I'm hoping it doesn't scare me off. Um, another book that I got was The Wanted by Robert Cray. This is <laughs> funny story. I have the 15th book in this series by this author and this is the 17th or 18th book and didn't even know it um i got this one because i recognize the author name and i like the cover because i bought this after watching alpha dog and the house and the palm trees reminded me of the movie so yes don't know what it's about i don't want to read a synopsis because i know this is a series but when I will start the series, I don't know. Okay, last stack. This is a lot of books. I don't know how many books. But uh, another one. This is still a Dollar Tree. It's uh, Sky Key, an in-game novel. This is the second book in the Sky Game or the in-game series. And this is by James Frey and Niels Johnson Shelton. Don't know what this is about. I'm not going to read the synopsis, but I have a vague idea of what in-game is about. And I think I heard somewhere that in-game turned into a real game in Vegas. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, nine players remain, but the game has changed. I love anything with a game. So, I have high hopes for this series. Uh, I had to pick this up, even though I've heard very negative reviews about. I just needed it because I want to read it and experience this book. And it is Baby Teeth by Zoji Stage. And, yeah, the title gives me that orphan movie with uh, the girl who plays Clove in The Hunger Games. She is the orphan. The She gets jealous of the mom and tries to kill the mom and the kids to have the dad all to herself. But, yeah, this reminds me of Orphan. And I really want to read it. <laughs> so, I don't know if that's what this book is about. It would, uh, Suzette is a devoted stay-at-home mom doing everything she can to connect with her seven-year-old daughter who cannot or will not speak. So, I don't know. I may like it because I've only watched Orphan once, liked it, but never watched it again because it scared me. And I watched that when I had a newborn, <laughs> which was probably bad timing. But, yeah, really looking forward to this. One that I found at Dollar Tree is another book that is very hype. It is The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. And I've heard great things about this. Um, I know that I wanted... Which one? The third one? I don't think this is the third one, but I know their recent release that came out, that just came out last year. I wanted to read, but couldn't get my hands on it because my library didn't have it. But, yeah. Um, I'm intrigued. And, yeah. I don't, I'm not going to read what this is about because I think spoiler are in the synopsis and the synopsis gives the whole story away and I really want to read it. I don't want to read the synopsis. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> and then the last book in this very big book haul is The Lonely Hearts Hotel by Heather O'Neill. Don't know what this is about, but it gives me like Great Gatsby 1920s vibes and it's got somebody standing on a sliver of a moon. I don't know because the sticker's in the way, but it's about two babies who are abandoned in 1914 and they're dancers or performers and they are pitted against each other so that's what I got from the synopsis um yeah I haven't heard many things about this so I can't wait to read it like all of the other books on my bed here that was 26 books that I just hauled I need to slow down <laughs> but yeah that was my 26 Book, book haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and yeah. If you read any of these books and highly recommend which ones I put at the very top, let me know down in the comments, and I will see you in my next video.